Hey guys, what is up? It is your girl Kat. It's Water Sign Wednesday. So we are doing the water signs right now. Let me take my shoes off. I just got out of work, y'all. I'm tired. I'm still in my scrubs. But you know what? It's not about me, right? It's about the cards. So um, Water Sign Wednesday. So let's do Scorpio. That's not my Scorpies. All right. Let's see what we got. It's intended to be a love reading, Scorpio, but you know how it goes. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. We'll see what we got. All right. Bottom of the deck. Oh, we got the Four of Wands. All right. Ace of Wands. Four of Swords. The Fool. Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. King of Swords. Seven of Cups. Queen of Cups, Two of Wands. All right, so let's just take a quick look here. All right, we got quite a few Wands. <clears throat> okay. So we're starting off your reading Scorpio with a new beginning. Um, it's the Ace of Wands. It's a new beginning, fresh start. Um, you're needing a break. You're needing a timeout. Um, been through some stuff recently. You're just exhausted and you're feeling like you just want to kind of disconnect and, um, just, you need a break from everything. Okay. And then we have a new path here. So we have a new beginning, a break and a new journey, a new path here. So Scorpio, I'm getting very strongly that you're starting new things. Um, new things on the horizon for you, new, new beginnings. Uh, definitely true in my case. Um, <sighs> all right. Um, we got the Queen of Pentacles here, followed by the Eight of Wands and the King of Swords. So could be focusing on your money, trying to get your money straight right now. Um, some kind of communication coming towards you very soon. Um With the King of Swords here, you're ready to take action on something. Followed by the Eight of Wands, I feel like you're ready to take some kind of action on something soon. Like you want to move quickly. Um, seven of Cups, things aren't what they appear. Queen of Cups, very loving, lots of love to give. Um... And the two of wands, it could be somebody at a distance from you or there's like a big decision you have to make concerning two different paths. Um, hmm. Okay, so let's pull some more cards here. <clears throat> Definitely a new beginning. Uh, looks like you're going to need a time out. You need a rest. You're just exhausted right now, Scorpio. So after you take this break, you're going to start on a new path, a new journey, something new. Could be working on your money right now. You're ready to take action on something, though, very quickly. Um, something turned out to be not what it appeared, not what it seemed, not what you thought it was going to be. Okay. And then I do see, like, a lot of love and caring and nurturing towards somebody who may be um, at a distance from you. Okay. Oh, boy, there's that, there's that. Playboy, that in and out, hot and cold, Knight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, the Hermit, and the Nine of Pentacles. One more, I feel like one more, right? Page of Pentacles. Okay. So. <clears throat> Over here, we have somebody who's on and off, hot and cold, in and out, committed one minute, nonchalant the next. Working towards something. The sneaky mofo, the seven of swords, betrayal, dishonesty, deceit. Hermit mode. I'm doing just fine by my damn self, thank you very much. The nine of pentacles, followed by the Page of Pentacles. All right, so. 
Starting on something new after a break. You're ready to take action on something. Hold on, I gotta fix my pants. <laughs> uh, you're ready to take action on something. You wanna move quickly, it looks like. Uh, things are not what they seem in a situation. You have a lot of love to give. You're a very loving, caring, nurturing person, Scorpio. Um, could be somebody at a distance from you. But what I'm seeing here is that this is this on and off hot and cold energy. So this could be somebody who doesn't know what they want. Okay. I don't feel like it's you, Scorpio. I feel like it's a person coming towards you. They're not quite ready. They don't know what they want. Okay. They're working towards something. Okay. So I feel like, and I, I did a reading for you guys last week and I felt like, um, what did I call it? I don't remember, but it was like, there's a new love coming your way, but this isn't it. I'm feeling like this is this, okay? Because this is somebody who's coming towards you, but they don't really know what they want. And they're still working on themselves. They're not really ready for a relationship with you, okay? And it's gonna wind up with um, distrust and dishonesty. And I think that this person, especially with this Knight of Wands energy, this is somebody who's gonna have, um, a lot of contacts on social media, a lot of interests, a lot of other people. Um, not necessarily that they're sleeping with, but there are a lot of different options, okay? And um, you're not gonna trust this person. You're gonna feel like, I can't, I can't trust this, okay? So, like I said, there is new love coming towards you. Uh, new beginning, new path, new journey, all this. But I feel like this is not the one, all right? Then you're going to go into hermit mode and you're just going to work on yourself for a while and just be independent. And then um, eventually you're going to meet somebody that you will have a committed relationship with. But I do think that you have to go through this person to get to the soulmate. This is the warm up. This is like, this is the the JV team, who's junior varsity, you don't want none of this. This person ain't ready for you, okay? <laughs> it's gonna start off really well. It's gonna look great in the beginning, but this person's not ready for you because they're not, they don't know what they want, okay? All right, let's clarify some of this. Show me this new beginning. Why is this new beginning here? King of Pentacles, okay? So this is somebody who's going to come across very protective, very nurturing. Very like they want to care for you, right? They want to take care of you. This um, four of swords, this needing a break. What is it? My door just wiped out. <laughs> Come on, baby, you can do it. Come on, Papa. Try again. Try it again. Come on. Sorry, guys. All right, so the four of swords, clarified by the page of pentacles. Okay. So I feel like somebody is going to come towards you that has a very protective, caring, like, let me take care of you. Let me take some of the burden off of you, Scorpio. You work so hard. You're so strong. Let me help you out a little bit here, right? And then um, it's going to, some of them about this connection is going to stress you the hell out and you're going to need a break. All right. Show me the fool. Remember I said it was going to be a new, new path, new journey. Mm -hmm. Nine of Cups. So, yeah, this is looking like a relationship, you guys. Somebody coming towards you that's going to be very caring and nurturing, very protective, wanting to take care of you. But they don't really know what they want, I'm telling you. All right, so the Queen of Pentacles, we said you would, you were probably just going to be focused on, on your money right now. And there we go, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. So, yes, you're going to be focusing on your money right now. All right, and then I said that there's going to be some kind of communication coming towards you, right? A forward movement, okay? Could be a cancer. Um, but somebody is going to message you about wanting to um, move forward with you. I believe it's going to be this King of Pentacles energy here that we're looking at. All right, show me the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? Queen of Cups, okay. Could be an air sign, you guys. Could be a, um, a Libra, a Gemini, an Aquarius. Somebody's gonna have a lot of love 
towards you. Could be this this King of Pentacles energy here. All right, show me this Seven of Cups. Remember I said things aren't what they appear, aren't what they seem. That, yeah, again, I feel like this is somebody who's at a distance from you. This is somebody that you have to travel to see. Um, and I feel like this person has a lot of options, you guys. I'm just going to say it. I do. All right, show me this Queen of Cups. Remember I said you're going to have a lot of love for somebody who's at a distance from you? Yeah. Page of Cups, okay? So you're going you're gonna to have some feelings for this person. Justice. Okay, you guys, this could be a Libra. I'm feeling like like Libra energy here. All right. And then remember I said this person, though, that they're, they're working on themselves and they're not ready for you. Okay, let's clarify the both of these together because I feel like these go together. This person who is still working on themselves and they're not ready for you. Show me. Let's clarify that. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So this is somebody who wants like a very stable partnership with you. I'm telling you, I'm getting this King of Pentacles energy from them. Like they look really solid and stable and like they want this committed relationship with you, but there's other options and they're not quite ready. So show me the seven of swords. Why is the sneaky mofo up in this biatch? Hmm. Wounded warrior energy hanging on. I'm telling you, I think this King of Pentacles is going to put you through it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Look at, there we go again with the Seven of Cups. I'm telling you, this person is going to come off looking like there are this nurturing, caring, protective um, person. But there's two sides to this story, I feel like. Okay, and then I said you were going to go into hermit mode and just be independent for a little while. Let's clarify the two of those together. Yep, you're going to go into hermit mode. No question about that. It's clarified by its own damn card. Okay, and then after you take that time out by yourself, right, work on yourself and become the best version of yourself with that nine of pentacles there, then you're going to get the page of pentacles. Let's clarify him. Why is he here? working towards something this okay so you'll meet somebody who wants to put in the work with you okay yeah okay i'm gonna pull a couple more i don't know why i just feel like i should pull a couple more yeah yeah so okay this this person that wants to put in the work with you is going to be solid they're going to be very stable. Uh, could be an earth sign, you guys, also. I was picking up air, but it could also be an earth sign because there's a lot of pentacles in this mofo. Um, so it could be a, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a, um, a Virgo coming, coming towards you. That would make sense, too, with the King of Pentacles because pentacles are earth signs, right? carrying a burden feeling worn out okay but then your future is going to be bright so I really am feeling like there's going to be this person that's going to show up I don't think they're going to intentionally deceive you I think that they're going to get involved with you and realize I don't know if I really want this I don't know if I'm really ready for this you know, I have some more work to do on myself before I start trying to be in a relationship with somebody else. They're going to let you down. Okay. I don't know how else to say that, Scorpio. They're going to let you down. This person coming towards you, this is not the one. But I'm telling you, once this person clears out, the one after this one is the one that's going to stick, if that makes any sense. But I feel it very strongly. Like in my spirit, just real strongly. That this person coming towards you right now is just the warm up for the real thing. Okay. 
So don't get discouraged, all right? Because they are going to disappoint you. They're going to let you down. But don't get discouraged because it's a good sign because that means the real one's coming up next. <laughs> I know that's a strange thing to say, but I'm telling you, when this doesn't work out, get excited. All right. Let's pull a lover's oracle. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Yeah, you see, this is what I'm telling you. This, for whatever reason, is a precursor to the real connection, okay? And um, the key here is don't try to hang on to it longer than you're supposed to. Set some solid boundaries. And when this person disappoints you, because they're going to... Like the Bible says, just count it all joy and keep moving, okay? Um, because this is, this is not the one. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Yeah, I feel like you guys very strongly that this person is sent to open your eyes about something and teach you a lesson of some sort. Um, and I feel like it's about letting things go that don't necessarily fit what you want you know it's about knowing what you want setting your boundaries and not hanging on to things that don't feel right okay and i feel like that's the lesson in this i hope i'm making sense um so yes there is new love headed towards you but this ain't the one okay it's the one after this one. So, <laughs> I hope this makes sense. Um, but I do feel it very, very strongly, okay? Um, you have somebody coming towards you that's going to teach you a lesson of some sort. And um, teach you something about yourself, show you something about yourself. And they're not going to intentionally deceive you. It's not like a, a nasty, mean person. It's just somebody who's going to think they're ready and they're really not going to be ready. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys for this week. Um, if you like that, hit the like button. You know, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I, I really don't understand what you're waiting for. Yeah. I mean, Christmas is right around the corner. If you want to give me a Christmas present, you hit the subscribe button for me. I would really like that a lot. You don't even have to wrap it or nothing. Just hit the button. <laughs> All right, you guys. That's what I got for you this week. I hope you like that. All right, Scorpio. Until next time, take care.